myself aruna govindan i am going to explain about non linear analysis of whole formed steel compression member using abacus software it contains two parts the first part is eigen buckling analysis and second part is non linear ana analysis now we will see about uh, the part one eigen buckling analysis so first we have to open the abacus software in that So first, set your work directory. Already, I have created one folder. The name is AES Demo. Click that one. After that, give the save as and give some name and okay. So next one, part. In that, click create part. So click shell and extrusion. Continue. So already I have the coordinates for the angle section. The first coordinate is sixty five comma fourteen point two. So click this one. Create isolated point. So in that, we give the all the coordinates one by one. The first coordinate is sixty five comma fourteen point two. Sixty five comma fourteen point two. Second coordinate is sixty five comma zero. Third coordinate is zero comma zero. Fourth coordinate is zero comma sixty five, and fifth coordinate is fourteen point two comma sixty five. You repeat view. So this is uh, these are all the coordinates, and connect this coordinate by line. Click the create lines icon and connect this all the coordinates. So next one, give the height of the column that is thousand mm. Then hold. So next one, give the material properties. So here, mechanical elasticity, elastic. So give the Young's modulus of this material. This is a steel material, so the Young's modulus is two into e power five, Poisson ratio zero point three. Then click plasticity in plastic. Yield stress of this material is two fifty, and plastic strain is corresponding plastic strain is zero. So next one, create section. Click shell and homogeneous. Continue. So here give the thickness of this specimen. So one point six mm. Then note. Okay. So next one, assign section. Select the region. Give the done. Then note. Okay. So next one, assembly. Click this one and click independent mesh. Then OK. Next one step interaction. In that give the reference point this end and this end. Create the reference point at C G of the cross section. This end as well as this end. Click R P. So. Already, I have calculated CG of this section, nineteen point eight, comma nineteen point eight. In Z axis, that is zero. Zero means this length. This is RP one. I can create reference point for this end. 
19.8 comma 19.8 comma 1000 this is the reference point 2 next one mesh click this one so give the mesh size here 10 mm then click ok so next one this one select the region done so here element shape is quad then ok so next click this one and click yes ok here the size of the mesh is 10 by 10 mm so next one go to assembly so here create this set create set 1 so for this set 1 I am going to rename this one that is RP1 ok it is a geometry RP1 it is a geometry so click continue click this one and then so next one create set 2 that is RP2 RP2 also geometry click continue and select RP2 then so next one create slave node slave node 1 it is in the form of node so click node then continue so click this one third, third one so here give 5 mm and enter so here I am going to select this corner node all the corner nodes are here slave node then ok so next one create slave node 2 slave node 2 it is also in the form of node click continue so click this one and the z plane click this one so here 995 my aim is I want to select this corner node only so click this one select this one and then remove the tick mark now it is original see here if you click this rp1 so this is rp1 click set 2 this is rp2 if you click sl1 slave node 1 it denotes only the corner nodes. If you click slave 2, see here it is the corner nodes this side. So next one, interaction. In the interaction part, I want to connect this reference node to this all the slave nodes. Similar to here also, this reference point 2 to all the slave nodes. So here this reference point acts as a master node. This corner nodes are act as a slave node. I want to connect this master node to this slave nodes. So after that I will apply the load as well as boundary conditions through this reference point. So click this create constraints. In that MPC constraints continue. So click set. RP1 as a master node. Then continue. Click slave 1. SL1 as a slave node. Then continue. Here M MPC type is beam type. Then OK. So next one again I want to connect this RP2 to this corner nodes. MPC constraints continue. RP2 continue and slave node to continue. MPC type is beam then OK. See here. Here I have connected this RP2 to this slave nodes. RP1 to this slave nodes. So next one load in that give the displacement that is boundary condition mechanical displacement and rotation click continue. So here I am going to establish the boundary conditions in RP1 and RP2. So first I click RP1. So RP1 as a Unloading point 
continue so here i am going to give the hinged end condition hinged support condition click okay so next one give the support conditions and rp2 continue so this rp2 act as a loading point so click u1 u2 and ur3 then okay so now now the model is ready copy this model for linear analysis as well as non linear analysis okay now rename this one this is for linear analysis or eigen buckling analysis eigen analysis and this model is for non linear analysis so now eigen analysis we are going to perform here also click uh, eigen analysis so in that click step click this one static general linear cut operation in that buckle continue here number of eigen modes is our wish 10 okay so here okay, 40 and here also 60 maximum number of iteration then okay so next load the first one in the mechanical part give concentrated force continue RP2 here RP2 act as a loading uh, point so click RP2 and continue in the CF3 in Z direction apply minus one load click OK so next one here click edit keywords here add after star note five comma global equal to s and p then okay so click here job create job linear continue full analysis and okay so now submit this job Here the status of file is submitted. Now the status is running. Now the status is completed. Status is completed. Click the results. and see the deformed shape deformed shape and click result step frame so these are all the 10 eigen modes click one by one the first eigen mode is this one and second eigen mode this one third one fourth one fifth one the fifth one is local mode sixth one seven eight nine okay then ten okay the first one this one first one is global mode and fifth one is local mode okay so note down the mode one as well as uh, mode 5 because in the first mode we have tied global mode and fifth mode we have tied uh, local mode okay next one note down this value that is 30151 this is the lowest eigen value we have to note down this value also okay so next we will see in the next part thank you